What's going on everybody, Liam here, I hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day. I am here to bring you yet another review, but on the other side of the gaming spectrum this time, with The Sims 4 for Xbox One. The Sims has been an iconic franchise for many years, and their newest installment doesn't disappoint. The Sims 4 is developed by Maxis and The Sims Studio, and published by EA, the same people who brought you such things as the esteemed Battlefield franchise, and most recently Star Wars Battlefront 2. And if I do say so myself, I feel like EA are on a big nostalgic goldmine lately. For those of you who are not old enough to have grown up with The Sims, or have just been living in a cave their entire life, here is a brief rundown. The Sims is an IRL simulator which can probably be described best as dolls in a house, but instead controlled with a mouse, well, an Xbox controller in my case. Like in all Sims games, you start off by picking your Sim, putting them in a pre-made house, or picking a plot of land to build your own house, which I think in most cases, people will pick the latter. There are endless ways in which you can build and customise your dream home for your Sim. You will have to cook, clean, eat, sleep, socialise, go to work, you know, all of those relevant life things to stay happy and to maintain that wonderful house of yours that you've so lovingly created. Over time, if your sim works hard enough, you'll get promotions and some extra cash and treat yourself to a new TV or even a pool. Or you could save it, just in case something breaks or sets on fire. As you play, your sim will get older and older and will eventually pass away, but don't fret! You will not lose that hard-earned building you have so lovingly created. You can either move a new sim into that house, or get the family started and have lots of mini sims ring around, who will eventually grow up and take over that household. There are endless possibilities and ways to play this game, and you can sink days and days of time into a single save, and every single story is your own unique creation. Although the gameplay isn't exactly brand new, it is still absolutely amazing, and let's face it, you can't really change the original recipe of The Sims that much, as this game has its very own unique playstyle, which the developer has stayed true to since their very first game, and any drastic changes would really damage the individuality of this game. However, there are some new features that really open up the customization, both on the building aspect and the sim creation, allowing a large magnitude of new ways to play the game. A prime example of this is the new roof mechanics, which doesn't sound like a huge deal, but the fact that you can fully customise the shelter over your head, whether it's domed roof, an inverted dojo looking roof, a long tall roof, a short shallow roof, gives you a lot more potential to creating a very unique style home. Also, there are plenty of additional new items for the inside of your house that give you an extra bit of personal flair. Furthermore, there is a great deal of combinations to determine what you want your sim to do with their life with various aspirations, for example, knowledge, which makes them learn abilities that little bit faster, and give them determination to pursue particular careers, which combined with the traits similar to that in The Sims 3, will mean they will excel better in certain skills and be happier completing certain tasks or activities, and really giving the, your sim the life you want them to lead. Customization aside, there are so many things you can get your sim to do or get involved in, whether it's host parties, attend parties, make friends from around the area or from work, start a family, Visit places such as parks, so many options, it completely sucks you into this virtual world that you have created for yourself, for your sim, and it's excellent at what it does and has so much to offer. Additionally, after only ever playing The Sims on PC, I found that on console this game is incredibly intuitive and does not take long to get used to the controls, and being able to micromanage your sim with ease. The tutorials are incredibly helpful and they're for you to refer back to at any time you need them. As you can tell, graphically this game is vibrant, full of life, and an absolute delight to look at. Yes, it may not be insanely intricate, or insanely full of detail, but that is not what The Sims can pride themselves on. The cartoony graphics, the goofy emotions, help it run nice and smoothly, and all give The Sims that little spark of joy in everyone's hearts. It is one of those games you just can't be mad at playing due to the nature of its appearance. Like the previous Sims games I've played, The Sims 4 is an absolute gem. And although it isn't a game with a million new features, it's a game you can trust that'll bring you a barrel of laughs and keep you occupied for hours and hours. So don't try and play a little bit before work, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> for those of you new to The Sims games, or returning players, it'll be a fantastic addition to anyone's collection and I would highly recommend it. That does it for me ladies and gents, thank you so much for stopping by and listening in, and if you have any thoughts on The Sims in general, or just The Sims 4, please let us know what you think in the comments below or on Twitter. Have a wonderful day everybody, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.